Hello, my name's Julia Rose, and I'm going to be showing how I made a dirt block box. Um, man, that's hard to say. Okay, uh, I already, like, pre-painted the inside and the top of this box because I made up this idea a long time ago. I don't know where I got it. It just popped into my head one day because I had these, like, cute little flower pots. Um, yeah, so I just, I'm using acrylic paint, Posca pens, you know, the little flower pots, hot glue, and, like, yarn. Okay. So, I'm going to mix brown paint first. Um, brown paint is really hard to mix for me. I always end up messing up the ratios, making it too red or whatever. So, I use Posca paint for the uh, other shades of brown because, you know, pre-mixed. I only own acrylic paint in the primaries in black and white because, first of all, it's way less expensive. And second of all, it just, you know, it helps unify your palette when you mix all of your own colors. So what I'm doing here is adding layers of sediment with a, a dark brown. The brown kind of dried the exact same color as the original brown, but it was a, it was fine because I went on another layer with a, the lighter brown. <laughs> Next, I'm making the other layer of sediment in a lighter shade of brown. Um, I'm pumping out the Posca pen and then brushing it with a wet paintbrush. Okay, so next I'm going to add flecks of stone and clumps of dirt into the soil, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm using gray and light brown. Um, I'm adding them in like groups of three and varying sizes. Okay, so now I'm adding grass hanging over the edge with my green Posca pen. Um, the original color of the top does not match my Posca pen, so what I did was I drew on the top with a Posca pen and then smoothed out the paint with my fingers like a goblin. All 
Alright, so here I am sketching out the path with my pencil. Yeet. Alright, now for the fun part, gluing the pebbles on. Um, I just kind of eyeballed it with the like very loose direction of my pencil lines, but this is definitely the funnest part. <laughs> you get to decide how your path looks. I made some like little outliers on the edges, just just like to make it look more natural, you know, artistry. Next, I'm going to paint these flower pots. You don't have to use Posca paint at any point in this craft. Um, you can just use like acrylic paint or whatever, but I, I just think they are more convenient because they're like less messy and more accurate. Plus they dry matte, which is cool. Oh yeah, uh, now I'm gluing down the flower pots. Uh, first I decide where they're gonna be and then I glue them down. All right, so this is yarn fluff. Basically what I did was I like wrapped some yarn around a wire and then I brushed it out with a metal pet brush. Um, I got the idea from like doll making channels because they have, you know, they make yarn hair. They just brush it out and it gets really silky and soft looking. I get obsessed with watching those. They're so fun to watch, especially delightful. I love her character designs. They're so cool. Creeps or 